Hi, this is Nathan from SoundIron. Today I'm going to walk you through a simple tutorial on how to record contact in Reaper. We'll start by right-clicking on the sidebar and selecting Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track. You can search for Contact and double-click to select it. Right-click anywhere in the main window of Contact to bring up Quick Load. Quick Load is the fastest and easiest way to manage your instruments. Today I'm going to be using Sonosphere's One Distance. This is one of my favorite libraries. If you're using a MIDI controller, you can play the keys now to make sure everything's working. We're almost ready to record. You want to make sure your track is record armed and go ahead and turn the metronome on if you're using one. You can now click the record button on the transport bar and Reaper will count you in. You can press the space bar to stop recording. You can see here that Reaper recorded the sustain pedal and all of the notes that I played on the keyboard. Double click the region to bring up the piano roll. You can draw notes in or move them around on the piano roll if you like. I'm going to quantize my playing to an eighth note grid. Let's turn the metronome off and hear what this sounds like. Once your MIDI is recorded, you can open contact and switch instruments if you'd like to hear another library play the same part. I'm using Emotional Piano with a Rack Reverb here. You can also press Command D on your keyboard to duplicate the track. What I like to do is have two different libraries play the same part. Let's hear what that sounds like. At this point, you're ready to start making music in Reaper. Please subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and we'll talk to you soon.